Okay, we ready? Okay. Good morning. I am Jim Gennaro, Chair of the Committee on Environmental Protection, and today we'll hold a vote on important legislation that will improve, that will improve transparency and access to water billing records. Um, questions about water bills are not unusual. However, open access to water meter records had been the norm in New York City for decades through, through the Department of Finance. Um, intro 2168A would require the Commissioner of the Department of Environmental Protection to create a searchable online database for water rate payers and for third parties, uh, that is anyone who registers and pays a periodic subscription fee. These folks can have access to these data if given consent by the owners of one to three family houses. Such information will include, but not be limited to, water meter billing data and balances, consumption usage and technical information about the water meter. This local law will take effect 120 days after it becomes law, um, except that the, that the DEP commissioner may take such measures as are necessary for, implement, for implementation of this local law, including the promulgation of rules before such date. Okay, I crossed out a bunch of stuff in the statement that I didn't think I needed to be said, so let's jump down to the bottom. Uh, access to these water re records had always been available through the Department of Finance records, uh, and by passing this bill, it will be once again. Um, water consulting services and real estate industry advocates have pointed out that open access to water billing data has enabled property owners and their representatives to effectively audit and correct millions of dollars in overcharges and billing mistakes made by DEP. Limiting access to water bill data to owners and authorized, delegate, and, and, uh, and authorized delegates, which has been done by this administration, created significant complications for company who own a large stock of buildings as they would be forced to request access to billing data for their auditors on a building by building basis, meaning that a firm with 100 buildings would be forced to submit the same form 100 times to ensure their auditors had access to their billing data. While the department opposes this bill, it merely reinstates the access that previously, um, that previously existed in the Department of Finance records for decades. Um, in support of improved transparency, I recommend the yes vote on this legislation. I would, before I recommend, the, before I talk about who's here and all that, I would like to uh, thank the uh, great committee staff who've done such great work over the years. Uh, Council Samara Swanson, policy analyst Nadia Johnson, Ricky Chala, and finance analyst Jonathan Seltzer. And finally, my legislative director, uh, uh, Nabi Kaur, for uh, all their great work. We are joined here today by uh, members of the committee, Levin, Diaz, and Ulrich. Uh, I thank them for being here for this vote. Uh, I'd like to uh, recognize Councilman Brannon to say a few words on his important legislation. I recognize Councilman Brannon. Thank you, Chair. I uh, appreciate you shepherding uh, this legislation through. Um, this bill is about making sure that the average uh, New Yorker uh, has the tools they need to uh, fight their water bill and make sure they're being charged properly um, and to ensure uh, recourse if they're not being charged properly. Every year, uh, the city overcharges uh, buildings on their water bill, um, and a lot of it goes unchecked and unnoticed, uh, which is wrong. This is money that is owed back to the taxpayer, uh, and we believe that this bill would make it easier uh, for people to fight their water bills and to uh, get money that is owed to them. Um, we pay more than our fair share in taxes. Uh, the city should not be getting an extra penny uh, than what we rightfully owe. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councilman Brannon. I, I appreciate you uh, bringing this legislation forward uh, and working on it diligently to get us to this good day. Uh, now, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'll ask my fellow members of the committee if anyone has something to uh, say about this legislation, I'd be happy to uh, entertain anyone who wants to speak on it. I recognize Councilmember Ulrich. Th thank you, Chair Gennaro, and thank you for your leadership on this very important issue, and I want to thank Councilmember Brannon uh, for introducing this bill. This is a very, very important piece of legislation involving consumer protection and, and allowing average New Yorkers and affording them the ability uh, to contest 
their skyrocketing water bills, which they have ex been experiencing uh, over the past decade. We have to give New Yorkers uh, full transparency and information regarding how much water uh, they are using in their homes so that they can be billed accordingly. The city used to uh, refund over $35 million a year back to New Yorkers who were successfully able to contest their water bills with the Water Board and the DEP. And by taking the information away from them, they were less successful in being able to fight their water bills. People are hurting right now in the city. We know that due to COVID, due to other financial constraints in the economy. And the least that we can do is give people a fighting chance. So I want to thank Councilmember Brannon because he's doing a wonderful job standing up for every New Yorker's right to um, be charged fairly and properly and to make sure that uh, they have the ability to fight City Hall and to get money back if they're owed money back. So thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Councilman Elrich. Anyone else wishing to be heard on this bill? Um, seeing none, I uh, call upon the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection, proposed introduction 2168A, Chair Gennaro. I vote aye. Levin. Aye. Dharma Diaz. Aye. Ulrich. I vote aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Clerk. Um, I'm wondering if I could leave the record open for Council Member Salamanca. Uh, I'm told that's a no, so uh, with that, I thank. Are we sure that's a no? Okay. So uh, with that said, uh, this, uh, this vote is adjourned. <laughs>